So it's been a week uh, out of work with a bad back and I've got to say I'm starting to go a little bit stir crazy and uh, I haven't had any correspondence from the GP I haven't had the home nurse come out and I haven't got any drugs I'm in absolute agony uh, with two slit discs at the moment and I've got no pain relief whatsoever I haven't been able to get out of bed and as a result I'm lying in my own shit yeah I've got pollen everywhere and um, it's on the pillars it's on the sheets it's on the divot it's everywhere I've stung myself more times than I can count and I've never done that before ever my thorax is covered in bed sores now Dibbly get me wrong, I know the accident was my own fault but I shouldn't have been told to work that high in the hive without the proper equipment I didn't get issue with a hard hat, a safety harness or steel toe cap boots I didn't get one boot, let alone the six that I need so I turn up for work as usual, on time and there uh, I get paired up with this agency lad I mean fuck's sake man I thought ah oh, how are you man Give the lad a chance, like, he's got to start somewhere. I mean, definitely get me wrong, he was a nice lad. He was studying his B tech in air plant pollination. But he was a cretinous useless fool, man. I think I managed to harvest about 40, 45 roses in the time it took him to do one dandelion. So, at this point, me legs are proper full up with pollen. I looked like Arnold Schwarzenegger had swallowed Popeye. I couldn't have fitted one more grain of pollen on me body so I made the decision let's go back to the hive and deposit it so we get back to the hive uh, we've flown about 1,020, 1,023 metres and I am proper knackered I says to the lads in the delivery bay I say how are you lads where do you want the stuff put in like now we've got some African bees working with us at the moment as part of this equal opportunities programme so one of them lads turns to me and he says, you have to put it up there in the top honeycomb compartment. I said, are you having a fucking laugh? Is Jeremy Beadle filming or something? Fuck off, am I taking that up there? And that little fucker has a cheek to turn to me and say, it is part of the new BEU regulations where it is stacked from the top to the bottom. Well, fucking bend me over and call me Beyonce Knowles. I was fucking livid. Me stinger was out and all. I thought to myself, hold on a minute here, Paul. You're training a lad. You've got to set a good example. So I said to the man, I said, no problem. I'll go and take it up there. Is there anything else I can get for you at the same time? Maybe something to wipe your arse. So I starts climbing up the honeycomb wall. And now because of the new BU regulations, the honey is dripping from the top to the bottom. So I'm climbing up, I'm on about honeycomb number 98. I've got honey dripping on me, I've got a body full of pollen. I'm totally knackered. And suddenly this massive splodge of unproperly packed honey lands on me antennae. I'm dazed, I'm confused, my stripes are back to front. I don't know whether I'm going up or down or in or out. I'm totally mullet man. Suddenly, Two honey legs lose grip on the honeycomb. I'm thinking, you're all right, Paul. Just calm down a little bit. All right, you've still got four more legs and you've got your wings. Then out of fucking nowhere, I get this lump of honey land on me wings with the force of a one-inch punch from Bruce Lee. Talk about the straw that broke the camel's back. I couldn't hold on any longer and I just plummeted all the way down to the floor of the hive. The next thing I know is that I've woken up and my back is absolutely killing me. But I'm thinking, what's that on me face? And it's this African fella trying to give me the kiss of life. So now, I've lost me dignity. I'm lying in me own shit. I've lost me job. And I can't stop thinking about kissing that fella. <laughs>